Hi, I'm Ron from Rubio's. Uh, let's go ahead and give the five first presenters another clap. <laughs> Great job. <clears throat> awesome. So our CEO and president for Rubio's, Mark Simon, who is also a past chart CEO of the year, uh, a couple years back, uh, uh, told me, he said, Ron, uh, you have great bedside manners with the field. <laughs> that could mean a lot of things, and I think everyone knows what it means, though. So um, uh, one of the big pieces that, that I've seen, and, and it's an honor to get to that spot, and it's ever, ever a challenge, is um, to be a partner versus an auditor. So I do audits. Um, before we get going, raise your hand, and some of you will have to think back years and years. Who here has ever been audited or had an inspection? Raise your hands. Okay, so I'm talking to the right. <laughs> Excellent. Um, and just in talking to some chart members over the last couple days, some of the words that they use to describe the feeling <laughs> of being audited are what? Okay, anxiety. I'm being judged, judgment, okay, fear. I'm, I'm phobic about this. So let's go ahead and uh, take a little walk through how we can uh, be perceived and be actually uh, a partner versus just an auditor. Uh, real quick, I'm gonna let you guys know, nothing, none of these slides, and we've got it right here, none of these slides are anything but homegrown Rubio stuff. So, Along the lines of what Gabe did with Patrick, took him on a field trip to a new store opening, we're gonna do a little bit of that. Uh, so with that being said, uh, here's a super boring slide, um, but it's real important, <laughs> real important. Uh, this is what we do at Rubio's, okay? And um, shift evaluations, food safety, third party, finance, safety, and then drum roll, the uh, ROE. That's about a four hour audit that includes everything there. So um, one of the things that I've done is I've created the two that I do most as announced audits. Um, why would we do something like that? Um, so many people say, you know what, I don't wanna see the dog and pony show. I do wanna see the dog and pony show. I wanna see aces in their places. I wanna be part of the wins. And I wanna be able to have and, and see them do greatness. Uh, what and how can we minimize that us versus them? Anyone else here have a culture where, you know what, sometimes people use the they word, well they changed this or they did that. Uh, yeah, a lot of people nodding their heads. Um, as as a partner or as an auditor, um, when does all this start? Before we open the door to go in, right? Okay, so uh, when entering, whose house is it? Everybody. Okay, whose house is it? Yes, it, I'm not walking into my office, so to speak. I'm walking into somebody else's house. And what is that energy that we bring in, okay? Do I come in and create more positive energy or do I suck it out? Anyone ever have an audit where the energy got sucked right out of the building? Yeah, everyone in the back, cool. Um, yeah, that, <laughs> um, that's not the purpose of this. Audits have their place and they create a lot of greatness for, for companies. It's how do we go about it, okay? so. Um, uh, why do your teams have name tags? Obviously, there could be situations, guest service metrics, where we want to reward somebody. There might be some issues as well. Um, when you walk into a restaurant, what's the first thing you do? Do you hold a clipboard up and uh, look for a table and uh, find a spot right here and look around and set it up? Probably not. What's a better option, maybe? Craig, how's it going? Good, Haven't you? seen you in a while, glad to be here. Awesome, so um, genuine eye contact, that connection right there, versus um, coming in and saying, hey, uh, hi Manny, how's it going? Here's my business card, I'm Ron Wood, here to do an audit. 
Okay, and as I'm, instead of looking at him, I'm looking at the exit sign that's too dusty or something like that. That's going to create that, that friction, that us versus them, or just, he's an auditor. Okay, let's get through this. This is going to be nerve-wracking. Okay, so we'll talk a little bit more about some conversation starters. Well, Donna's probably in here somewhere, and there were a bunch of Donna-isms last night. You remember those? Pretty cool. Uh, so... Uh, What's your ism when you walk into the restaurant? And this isn't just for people that do audits. Uh, raise your hand if you ever walk into any of your hotels or restaurants. Yes, we all do. So this is valid for all of us. Uh, one of mine is we have a lot of Hispanic speaking cooks, obviously. When I get into the back of the house, it's like, awesome, como estas? And uh, one of the other ones that I'll do, sorry. Viva la pura vida o la vida loca. See, and uh, you know, you do that sometimes, that's a tagline. It's a little bit corny, but it works for me. And sometimes you'll hear in, in response, uh, those of you that speak Spanish, uh, las dos. Okay, I'm living the good life and the crazy life, like uh, uh, Ricky Martin would say. So, uh, uh, also, um, me, me, I'm a rhyme guy, okay? No worries, no hurries, no furies, no scurries. Uh, up here, create great right out of the gate. What does that mean? Well, um, it's really easy for me to come in and say, oh, there's Nigel over there, da 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 da, and there's 27 things wrong with this restaurant. And here's my body language, and I'm gonna go to my clipboard or hover over my laptop or surface and write out about it. Um, it's much easier, and, and everybody has their own, but Rubio's calls that that beverage, bottled beverages, desserts, and everything right up in the front, impulse alley. So I can walk into the restaurant, connect with my GM and the GSAs, and let them know right away, you know what, impulse alley looks phenomenal, okay? I wanna see greatness, I wanna share that before I go into any sort of issues, all right? And uh, um, we talked about announced, uh, announced audits, but also, one of the neat things, for me at least, is um, seeing, like we talked about, aces in their places, okay? And as the audit goes on, you can really talk to the CTM and say, hey, look, you know what? You kept your, for us, the, the main cook is line one. They don't move. They stay in the kitchen. They don't go to the walk-in. Um, great job with your deployment, specifically with line one, et cetera, et cetera. So um, I want to go ahead and... Um, talk a little bit about celebrating the wins, okay? But not just the wins, what are the milestones? When you go into a restaurant, it's, is it somebody's birthday? Do you know? Well, for us, we have the Ocean Goodness Rider. That's our weekly, uh, our weekly uh, uh, news flash. And uh, I was on my way to this restaurant in Sereno Mesa, and I read, I'm like, dang, that's so cool. Guillermo, the guy with the white sunglasses, the swag, is a major swag person, all right? And uh, he wanted these. So I bring swag with me in my car. And, and uh, it was his 17th year at Rubio's, 17 years. So there's your CTM Letty, the MIT, and some goofball on the far right. Uh, but the point there was we got to celebrate Guillermo before the audit even started. So to me, that's pretty cool. Um, I want to turn, uh, not the mic over to, but I want to go ahead and ask Manny. Manny, uh, if you didn't see him yesterday or the day before, he presented uh, Golden Corral. Um, what is your goal when you walk in, visit a restaurant, and then leave? And Manny's a golf fan, so uh, yeah, here's your Rubia swag with uh, three golf balls. Awesome, thank you. Thank you very much. And so I uh, want to show you a quick video here. 
a quick video. This is 51 seconds. And the other piece to me that's real important is when you see somebody that maybe has that menu knowledge and some opportunities there, how can you show a kinesthetic learner uh, maybe a trick that doesn't drive food costs through the roof? There should be volume. All right, so I'll narrate while he's doing it. Um, this is called the wax wrap exercise, okay? And he was asked to make a fish taco especial. It comes with guacamole first, okay? Cheese second, a piece of fish third. Now he's just using a small, minute amount, but he's learning, he's narrating as he goes, and he's learning how to make ingredients in order um, without even the use of a trainer. So he's doing all this on his own. He can do all those tacos in less than 30 minutes and have that ingredient piece knocked out. Okay, thank you, Pedro. Give him a hand. Now, when there is some issues, when something gets sideways a little bit, um, oh, how do we address that as uh, partners versus auditors? One of the ways is, uh, hey, on a scale of one to five, how does this look? Well, internally, we would know that the nutritional guide shouldn't even be there. It's in a different spot. But there's a couple of others. Okay, this maybe looks like a three. I can ask, hey, how are you going to get uh, spot X from a four to a five or a three to a four? So uh, that, that to me and, and the way addressing a certified trainer manager or GM, uh, can I go in and do a fine-tuning exercise? Maybe it's chop cut size on steak, et cetera. Uh, awesome. So uh, just a couple quick notes here. How important is it for us to blend in? Huge, OK? Be part of a, a night shift. Here, here's a, a, a session where I, I worked a night shift with uh, uh, the team at Encinitas. Uh, extra labor, you want some? Sure, cool. Thanks for coming, Ron. Sweet. Uh, and then also, uh, that's the last uh, group, uh, the last store in Florida that opened, the eighth one. And boy, were we excited. That's a, a classroom training shot. Um, the debrief is the most important part, though. Real quick, the bullets. Okay, Don't score the audit right out of the gates. Okay, if I'm the recipient and I see a 91 and we need to get a 90, it's like, cool. <laughs> um, it's much more important to share all the pieces of that uh, ROE or that audit or that inspection. And the more the merrier. If you can get the assistant manager or the MIT to sit in, uh, that's even enhanced alignment. Uh, I do photos with teams that I work with closely. A lot of people want to show photos, uh, pictures worth a thousand words and uh, they can uh, make improvements that way. And then uh, lastly, ask the team members for feedback, okay? What feedback do you have for me regarding my time in your restaurant today and the feedback I provided? Also, what feedback do you have for me regarding my interaction with your team? You'll learn a lot that way and you'll just get better and better. So um, even if you're not doing audits, Fair questions to ask. Um, be yourself, OK? Um, we're, I, I'm invested in my teams. It was neat to be part of that 17-year anniversary. A lot of times people ask me, Ron, what are you doing? How are you doing? Uh, go on any trips lately? Yeah, I went surfing, uh, et cetera, et cetera. So um, be yourself and have fun. Real quick. Um, Manny, uh, I'm stealing this. Actually, it was on the presentation three weeks ago. Uh, people were, will forget what you said. People will, will forget what you did. But people will never forget how you made them feel. Thank you very much.